candy and the ink machine. What is this all about? Oh, awesome! My package has arrived! Uh, Indolandry Squirrel, are you sure that is safe? Of course it is! Bendy is the greatest cartoon hero of all time! I don't know about that. And you've been acting really weird. What happened to, to normal Landry? Poor tiny chipmunk squirrel has been hiding under a bucket for the last week. <coughs> and we all pretty much know whatever scares tiny chipmunk squirrel can't be good. Oh, relax. It's a vintage cartoon character. These things were designed to be fun. Huh. Looks like the palette might be misbalanced. Well, I'm going to go get some popcorn. Get ready for this review. <laughs> I'm with you, mysterious blue and white squirrel. I'm out of here. Hey guys, I was just at the park and all the trash cans are full. It's awesome. Ah! Oh no, not another one of these horror genre game toys. On the table, Bendy and the Ink Machine, Series 1, Toys from Fat and Mojo. We have Bendy, Boris the Wolf, Alice Angel, and Ink Bendy. Now before I go too far, these toys are from a very scary first-person puzzle horror action game, so I really don't recommend a gameplay for younger audiences. It definitely falls in that Five Nights at Freddy's older crowd of subject matter. It's hard to tell though these days. Personally, my kids probably wouldn't want to see something like this till they were 20. I think the safest viewing approach here would be the 14 plus older on the packages. Whatever the subject matter here, these have appeared in the Walmart toy aisle, and the interesting toy design caught my interest. So keep in mind these toys' subject matter is for older squirrel audiences. However, this review will be harmless. <laughs> So with that in mind, that these characters can get sort of dark inky, let's move on and look at these figures. Let's start off with Bendy. So it's Bendy, a dancing demon-like cartoon thing from classic Joey Drew Studios, their most popular character, kinda like Mickey Mouse, Animaniacs, that sort of thing. Star of his own series, most likely mischievous, that kind of cartoon. With gloves, of course. On the back of the box, collect all four other figures available, a free game download, Fat Mojo, still trying to decide if I've reviewed something from them before. Well, let's get this figure out. Very curious to see how this figure will stand and feel. And Bendy outside of the package, liking those Pac-Man eyes staring back at us. The figure looks to be black with white paint. Pretty simple yet complicated. What do we have for articulation, Bendy? Head rotation? Yep, 360 head rotation. How about those shoulders? Looks like we are on possible hinge or ball joint shoulders. Looks like hinges on posts, but somewhat roundish, almost ball joint. And Bendy, do we have wrists? Yep, we've got wrists. And can you sit down? Ah, you can, but you have to have your arms behind you for balance. Looks like we have a number on your foot too. I wonder if that is different per every Bendy. Huh, looks like your ankles are also bendy. Very good, sir. As for the feel of the figure, it feels like the head is a little bit squishy, maybe. Kind of a softer plastic. Not completely squishy, but there's some give. The body, kind of crunchy hard. The gloves, kind of soft. Your typical action figure. Bendy comes with a couple accessories. Looks like we have a bendy doll toy. And we have an ink container both being used to fix the ink machine in the first chapter of the game. Probably the most mellow part of the game that I have seen. The rest can get pretty terrifying. So that would be Bendy. I really like the classic design of this. Too bad the game is so scary. Come on Bendy, I'll show you around the place. Next up we have Boris the Wolf. Now this toy really drew me to the series as I always find Goofy to be one of the great standouts of the Disney series. And wolves are also constantly used in classic animation. Liking Bendy or not, I think this figure looks really fun. On the back of the box, same thing with Bendy, the four figures available. Alright Boris, let's get you out. Boris, often starring with Bendy, a slower but hungry character, often known to get a little grumpy. 
We see Boris a lot in the second chapter of the game, but like many of the characters of this game, poor, poor Boris. Boris does look to have pretty good articulation. I think the head is 360, I don't want to force it though. We have some shoulders, we have some elbows, we have some hips, we even have some knees, and bendy ankles. So if you're looking for a classic, goofy-like action figure with pretty good articulation, look for Boris. Boris comes with a toolbox and some keys, both seen in gameplay. However, thinking about it, a lot of the elements of the game have a vintage, grainy, sepia look, more so than white. Kind of interesting to think about. Oh, and it looks like Boris could probably hold that toolbox, and even those keys. Fun figure to see. Okay, next figure to take a look at is Alice Angel. However, I think this one might be mislabeled. The real Alice Angel is another cartoon character angel demon female parallel to Bendy. This toy would actually be more like Alice, an insane form of Alice Angel, her character obsessed with fixing her deformed and perfect appearance, appearing in mainly chapters 3 and 4 as a major antagonist. Same thing on the back of the box. Let's open up. So far, these figures are great for back-of-the-card collecting. They fall right off the blister part of the card. Alice here, another good-looking figure, although a little tippy, trying to stand her on smaller feet. Oh my god, she's moving on her own. That was creepy. Alice here has many of the same points of articulation. I don't think I'll mess around with that neck with her hair back on her shoulders, but we do have shoulders, elbows, wrists. Oh dear, she has the black spot on her hand. Waist! It may look like it, but no waist rotation. There is some hip articulation under the dress, which is kind of one of the stability problems of this figure. We do have knees as well, and it looks like ankles. I want to go home. Okay, stand up, Alice. Another good-looking figure, just a little bit unbalanced, and her joints feel looser than the first two. As for accessories, she comes with a small vintage recorder, which you see often in gameplay, as the many employees of Joey Drew Studios tells the world their story. We also have a mic on a stand, but it's kind of bent, and it's going to fall way too easily. They really could have given it a heavier, wider base on that one. But I suppose you can have Alice hold on to it. Giving her a third point to stand on kind of helps out. Okay, Alice. Over here. And finally finishing off these terrifying figures with Ink Bendy, the main antagonist of this game series. Let's open up. And outside of the box, Ink Bendy looking terrifically awful. Skinny, creaky ink monster will occasionally chase you around in gameplay, resembling classic Bendy just more terrifying. Looks like we have some head rotation, shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips that can sit and kick, knees, and I don't see any ankles. A real terrifying figure, but actually not as scary as what you would appear in game. Ink Bendy comes with a gear and wrench piece to fix the ink machine. I think I'll just stick with classic Bendy though for having a friend. Alright Ink Bendy, over here! Okay, here is the Bendy and the Ink Machine collection we saw today. Again, a very disturbing game meant for most older audiences. However, toys sold at Walmart, directed at most everyone. I would say if you're playing the games, do so with a friend or family member, and try not to get too scared. Alright guys, good work! You will be my new Cracker Jack team of scaring acorns out of the trees! Follow me! How about we knock a tree down on top of that squirrel? Sounds good to me! Alright, follow me! 
Bendy and the Ink Machine Toys arrive on store shelves spring 2018. They run approximately $12 each. If you are a fan of Bendy and the Ink Machine or classic vintage style cartoon toys, this would be the collection to look for. However, it can be a mature audience horror genre game, so be careful what you're getting into. But Ink Bendy over there does have a wrench. Maybe he will help fix things. Ah! Never mind. That's what I have to say about that. In vintage animation, real squirrels were pressed onto cells for realistic effects. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Seriously, she just moved on her own. That's it. I'm going back to Care Bears collecting.